Good day, dear grade nine social science geography learners. I'm sure you guys and girls are keeping safe and well during this pandemic time that we are facing. Can you refer to your resource pack as you can note on the screen? We're looking at surface forces that shape the earth. Learners, I'm sure most of you would have already gone through these concepts on your own. If you haven't, kindly follow. Weathering. Weathering refers to the breaking down of rocks and soil by the action of weather. Oxides are chemicals that's formed when minerals such as iron mix with oxygen in the air. Decaying refers to rotting or breaking down after dying. Biological refers to do with living organisms. And agents of erosion are forces in nature that cause erosion such as rivers and wind. Looking at unit one, weathering, concept of weathering. Weathering is a process whereby rocks and minerals near or at the surface of the earth are broken down into smaller pieces. Soil is formed through this process. Weathering is caused by water, plant growth, animals, and changes in the atmosphere. The surface minerals of rock get broken down and are transported away by water, wind, or ice. There are three types of weathering, namely physical, as you can note up on your screen, followed by chemical and biological. Learners, today we would focus on physical weathering. Physical weathering causes rocks to crumble without any chemical changes. The rocks are broken up into smaller fragments there are two main types of physical weathering. Firstly, freeze thaw. When it rains, water runs into the cracks. As you can note here, step one, water runs into the cracks and holes in rocks. If the temperature drops below freezing, the water freezes. The frozen water expands and forces the cracks in the rock to widen. Now remember, dear learners, when water freezes, it expands sideways, eventually breaking the rock apart, as you can note in step four. This happens in cold areas where the temperature often falls to below freezing. A good South African example of this can be seen in Swartbank Pass. Note in your pack figure 3.2 at the bottom. The Swartbank Pass in the Western Cape often gets snow in winter. The icy temperatures cause freeze thaw weathering. Your figure 3.1 on the left. In the Yosemite National Park, we're referring to your resource pack. This granite boulder has fractured due to freeze thaw weathering in this cold mountain environment. Coming back to physical weathering, guys, girls, these are your four stages that occur. Moving on, the second type of physical weathering, we refer to freeze thaw. Sorry, not freeze thaw, expansion and contraction. Rocks expand when they are heated and contract when they are cooled. The particles which make up rocks expand and contract at different rates. This can cause tiny fractures within the rocks and small grains of rock to break off. It is called granular disintegration. The caves at Platteberg near Harrismith are an example of this. 
In your PAX figure 3.3, as you can note, the caves at Platbar are an example of granular disintegration. The sun heats the outer layers of rock during the day. At night, when it becomes cold, these outer layers contract. This causes the thin outer layer to crack and peel off, as you can notice in this image. The peeling of thin layers is called exfoliation, and it occurs particularly in hot climates. The outer layers of a rock surface peel off in flakes and shells. Pearl rock in pearl is a good example of exfoliation. Refer to figure 3.4 in your pack. Pearl rock is made of granite. It is an exfoliation dome. Thin outer layers of rock peel or flake off. That image is on page two in your pack. Okay, learners, I'm sure you can, this picture is quite clear for you to decipher what's taken place here. And I'm sure you do have understanding with that. Now you move on to page four. Your activity, I would like for you to attempt physical weathering only on page four. Take care, dear learners. Bye for now.